Elon Musk has revealed a crazy plan to make the Starship even more powerful. Already set to become the most potent heavy launch vehicle in the world, it seems that Elon Musk is not satisfied with the rocket's incredible power. But can SpaceX make the Starship even stronger without sacrificing reliability? Let's talk about this ambitious upgrade and how it may benefit the Starship. The Starship currently employs three sea-level Raptors and three vacuum Raptors, combining to generate a total thrust of 1,500 tons. This thrust level already places Starship among the most potent spacecraft in existence. However, for someone as ambitious as Elon Musk, this doesn't quite suffice. Musk has recently disclosed his plans to enhance the power of this colossal vehicle even further. He intends to incorporate an additional three Raptor engines, bringing the total count of engines propelling Starship from six to a whopping nine. During its developmental journey, Starship has continually expanded in size and ventured into more audacious territory with each successive iteration. At present, this remarkable spacecraft comprises two stages. The first stage, known as Super Heavy, boasts an impressive array of 33 Raptor engines capable of generating a staggering thrust of up to 7,600 tons or 17 million pounds. This thrust capability is twice that of the legendary Saturn V moon rocket. Starship's upper stage is meticulously designed to accommodate both cargo and crew, and it is outfitted with six Raptor engines. When Starship embarked on its maiden voyage, it achieved the distinction of being the largest rocket ever to grace the skies, marking a momentous milestone in the realm of space exploration. However, it appears that Elon Musk's appetite for power knows no bounds when it comes to Starship. He envisions pushing the spacecraft's thrust capability to a jaw-dropping 9,000 tons, a feat achievable by equipping it with a total of 42 Raptor engines. These engines would be distributed with 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy's first stage and an additional nine engines on the Starship's upper stage. Elon Musk dropped hints about this engine augmentation in a tweet back in July, where he shared an image of the Starship displaying six engines and subtly indicated that SpaceX intends to incorporate three more, further amplifying the vehicle's already impressive power. This adjustment represents just one of numerous potential upgrades that Musk had previously unveiled for the rocket, following the successful completion of Starship's inaugural orbital flight. The notion of bolstering the count of Raptor engines has been in contemplation since the initial phases of Starship's development. As 2021 drew to a close, Elon Musk subtly alluded to this concept through a series of tweets. He suggested that Starship appeared to be essentially requesting an additional three engines, with ships potentially being upgraded to feature a total of nine engines. These nine engines would consist of three sea-level engines with gimballing capability and six vacuum engines designed to remain fixed in place, accompanied by an augmentation in propellant load. Nonetheless, it's conceivable that at the time these hints were dropped, Starship may not have been fully prepared from a technical standpoint or might not have reached the necessary level of stability and power to accommodate such a bold upgrade. Now, though, Starship has undergone a series of successful flights and rigorous testing, leading to significant improvements in its capabilities. This makes the current moment an ideal opportunity for Elon Musk to finally realize his long-standing ambition of increasing the number of engines on the upper stage of Starship. In fact, the addition of three more Raptor engines to Starship, increasing the count from six to nine, will necessitate an extension of its fuel tanks to accommodate the enhanced power. To achieve the optimal configuration of a nine-engine Starship, the fuel tanks would need to be expanded, increasing their volume by approximately 25%. This expansion would allow them to store an additional 300 tons of cryogenic liquid oxygen and methane. With these modifications, the upgraded Starship would possess a liftoff mass approaching 1,600 tons and stand at a towering height of approximately 55 meters, making it about 10% taller than the current iterations of the spacecraft. During the critical stage separation in the near-vacuum environment of space, a stretched Starship equipped with three sea-level optimized Raptors and six vacuum-optimized Raptors is expected to generate a minimum of 2,000 tons of thrust. In the best case scenario, it could potentially exceed 2,250 tons, contingent upon the performance of the engines. Beyond considerations of thrust, dimensions, or weight, the key focus lies in how a stretched nine-engine Starship would influence the overall launch performance of the rocket. According to assessments made by unofficial modelers, the implications are indeed noteworthy. In comparison to a standard Starship configuration with a six-engine upper stage and a 33-engine booster, the stretched variant could, in theory, substantially augment the payload capacity of the rocket for launching into low Earth orbit. This enhancement could potentially elevate the payload capacity from approximately 150 tons to an impressive 220 tons, or possibly even more, constituting nearly a 50% improvement over the shorter six-engine Starship configuration. If these estimates prove to be accurate, the decision to upgrade Starship with nine Raptors and stretch its tanks becomes a clear and sensible choice. While it may introduce some delays in the development process and potentially increase the cost of producing nine-engine Starships, the prospect of achieving a 50% improvement in payload performance is undeniably compelling.
This enhanced payload capacity would substantially increase the efficiency of Starship's more ambitious missions, particularly those involving the Moon and Mars, where multiple orbital refuelings are required. Even with the upgrade plans requiring all Starships to be stretched and equipped with nine Raptors, fully refueling this new Starship variant in low Earth orbit could potentially be accomplished with seven tanker launches, as opposed to the eight to ten launches required for the current configuration. If SpaceX is open to maintaining multiple distinct Starship variants, as it appears to be, then specialized ships designed exclusively for refueling Moon and Mars landers could potentially remain at their current size, featuring around 1,200 tons of propellant storage and six Raptors. Consequently, a fleet of upgraded Starships would be well-equipped to refuel their smaller counterparts with a reduced need for tanker launches, likely in the range of five to six launches. Considering the relatively minor additional mass required for stretching a Starship, approximately four tons, SpaceX might opt to stretch all Starship variants for uniformity and ease of operation. In particular, variants like NASA's HLS Moonlander and future Mars-bound Starships, which rely heavily on refueling to reach their destinations, could benefit significantly from stretch tanks and increased propellant storage. Alternatively, to increase the thrust of the Starship, Elon Musk could focus on improving the performance of the Raptor engines themselves. Musk has hinted at the possibility of enhancing Raptor thrust by approximately 20% aiming to achieve a remarkable 9,000 tons or 20 million pounds of force at sea level. The Raptors are fueled by a distinct propellant called Methalox, which is a blend of cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen. This fuel combination stands out as unique in the rocket industry due to its specific properties. The current prototypes of the Starship predominantly feature Raptor 2 engines. This iteration represents the second version of the Raptor engine and has undergone a series of upgrades and refinements compared to its initial release. However, SpaceX is currently in the process of advancing the development of the Raptor engine with the aim of boosting thrust, reducing weight, and further lowering costs. This latest iteration, referred to as Raptor 3, underwent testing by SpaceX in May, producing remarkably impressive results in terms of thrust performance. SpaceX made an announcement regarding Raptor V3, revealing that it has achieved a remarkable 350 bars chamber pressure and generates an impressive 269 tons of thrust. To put this into perspective, when compared to other engines using a phase combustion cycle with methane and oxygen, such as the BE4 engine, which is expected to produce around 245 tons of thrust, the Raptor V3 stands out as a more powerful option. In fact, the Raptor V3 outperforms other prominent rocket engines like the RS-25, which boasts 190 tons of thrust, and the RD-180 with two combustion chambers. Furthermore, the Raptor V3 represents a remarkable 18% increase in power when compared to its predecessor, the Raptor 2. Notably, the Raptor 2 already held a thrust superiority of 25% over the initial Raptor 1 iteration and featured a weight reduction of 20%. SpaceX has gone a step further by strategizing ways to streamline the Raptor engine, eliminating unnecessary components to further reduce its weight. In future iterations, they are considering the possibility of removing the gimballing mechanism on certain engines and even foregoing the engine's shield plate, if deemed feasible. In addition to the significant thrust enhancements achieved, there's still the potential for SpaceX to trim an additional 200 kilograms of weight from the engine. Collectively, these weight-saving measures could lead to a substantial reduction in the rocket's overall weight, bringing it down to just 8 tons for the Starship. While a more powerful Starship is certainly more attractive, the craft has a long road ahead before it can be considered a finished product. SpaceX has been working hard to prepare for a second integrated test flight, but it remains to be seen if the Starship will finally achieve orbit. What do you think? Should SpaceX focus on making the Starship more powerful? Or is achieving orbit with the current iteration more important? Please let us know in the comments below.